Lazy dog owners who failed to pick up after their pets, putting children at risk, have been slammed by the council, as figures reveal the worst hit areas. Top of the list is Southside Central, where residents reported dog fouling on 98 occasions between April and September in 2019, up from 89 in the same period in 2018. However, the number of fixed penalty notices, an £80 fine, issued during the same months was highest in the Canal Ward, with 29. In total, the number of notices issued dropped between April and September, when compared to the year before, 251, down from 321. A council spokesman said CCTV can be used and plainclothes officers deployed to catch irresponsible owners when reports are received. The rules on dog fouling are clear and well established, he said. The person responsible for a dog is responsible for clearing up their dog dirt. Anyone too lazy and inconsiderate to pick up their dog dirt is antisocial, stinking out their community and potentially spreading fatal disease that is particularly dangerous to young children. Anyone who fails to clear up their mess is liable to be fined and witness statements are an effective way of bringing culprits to book. Where we receive reports of dog fouling, we can deploy CCTV and plain clothes officers in unmarked cars to help identify offenders. The second highest number of dog fouling reports was in Cardonald, with 86 between April and September, up from 51 in 2018. There were 75 in East Centre, rising from 50, and 70 in the Gascadden slash Scottsdale Hill Ward, down from 88. Shettleston had 66 reports, compared to 61 in the same period in the previous year. Denistoon, Langside had 63 and 61 respectively, both down on 2018. Drum Chapel slash Annie's Land and Canal were tied with 60 reports, up from 44 and 59. Hillhead had 56, up from 49, and Govan had 55, rising from 34. There was only a slight rise across the city, with 1,143 reports, up from 1138. In comparison, the figures for fixed penalty notices issued are much lower. The 29 notices in Canal were 19 more than in 2018 while the 26 issued in Deniston were 2 more than the year before. However, there were 62 fines issued in Shettleston between April and September in 2018 and only 16 in 2019. Newland slash Oldburn also seen a drop in the statistics, which were presented to city councillors. There were 28 notices issued in 2018 and 18 this year. The northeast wards saw a fall from 31 to 17. Guards Cadden slash Scottsdale Hill dropped from 20 to 15, Govan from 26 to 14 and Cardonald from 17 to 9. There was increases in Merry Hill, Lynn, Langside, Victoria Park and Springburn slash Rob Royston. Many parks and public spaces have litter and dog waste bins and bagged dog waste can be disposed of in green domestic refuse bins. The £80 fixed penalty notice increases to £100 if not paid.